is EJ. Hi, EJ. He says hi. So we're going to show you how a seatbelt fits a man versus a woman and how you can make it safer for yourself. EJ, can you put on the seatbelt? Thank you. Now push the pad all the way up. Perfect. You see where we're going to get in his personal space. It hits his shoulder blade. And down here, you can't really tell because of his sweatshirt, but it's going across his pelvic bones. Seatbelts are designed to fit the male torso. So, in the event of an accident, when it tightens, it's going to go across the shoulder and the collarbone area, the sternum, and then on each side of the pelvis to protect all of his vital organs. Now, the problem is, if you're a woman, this doesn't work as well. I know, it's sad. That's okay. But, if you install this seatbelt pad, because a woman's shoulders are shorter, it's going to provide extra protection instead of breaking ribs. Now, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about the lap belt because a woman's pelvis, the bones go back further. But at least with this part, we can stop serious injury. The seatbelt for a woman doesn't fit quite right. It either goes off of the shoulder or if you pull it tighter, it goes into the neck. Then, if you're small boot, like me, it goes in between the boobs. If you're larger boot, it's going to go on top. So it's not hitting the sternum. Then, our pelvic bones sit back further. So the lap belt is actually going to tighten into our internal organs. The only way I've found around this is getting a seatbelt pad, which you can get at most auto stores or Walmart for about five bucks. If you place this over your sternum, in between your breasts, it will apply the pressure to the sternum instead and keep this from going into your neck and closer to your shoulder. 